Oh, Barry White, isn't he? Got a gorgeous voice. We're all tingly now. Even Tony's had to go and have a lie down at the fact that I find him sexy, but he's got no soul. Anyway, our next guests are lined up and ready to talk to us. They're three very special American tourists and they're in Chester at the moment and they're doing all the usual touristy things. They're going around the city walls, gaping at the cathedral, watching the river drift by, you know, really energetic stuff. But Pat Mooney, Mark Schultz and Richard Crow are recording their travels on video to help tourists of the future plan their journeys. Hello, gang. Hello. How are you? At least you're sober, I suppose. We have to be thankful for small mercies. <laughs> Mark and, and his two colleagues, of course, are in our Chester studio. And to tell us about your trip, uh, what this, this is a world tour, isn't it, with a difference, Mark? Right. Uh, we are traveling around the world and with our mountain bicycles using videotape, uh, professional videotape, to film the whole uh, bit and capture it for television to be broadcast later on, hopefully at the end of the year or the beginning of next year, around the world. So you're not just Americans with a video camera, you are actually uh, specialists in this field, are you? Absolutely. We've all been working in the business for many years now and uh, have been selling uh, TV shows and home videos to the marketplace for some time now. Uh, mountain biking happens to be our passion and we thought that it would be a great way to show the rest of the world uh, a little bit about mountain bicycles and the rest of the world to see the places we travel to and uh, help bring a little bit more publicity to those areas and, you know, for good or for worse, tourists also. Well, we've seen, I'm sure it's for better. Now, for, for um, we've, seen, we've all seen three men and a little lady, but this is two men and a little lady. It's Pat. Pat, are you a little bit saddle sore? Oh, no. You wouldn't tell me if you were? Probably not. <laughs> Where have you been so far then? Well, we've covered Australia, Tahiti, Costa Rica, India, Greece, Switzerland, um, we've been to London and going to Wales. We'll next go to Canada and bits of the United States. How long is all this taking you, Richard? Boy, well, I, I just uh, came into this uh, in Greece. I was in Greece, Switzerland, and now here in England. So I was the second cameraman to uh, enjoy this endeavor. But the whole show has taken basically about a year it will take. And how long are you spending in England then, Mark? Uh, about two weeks. So well, you've been here how long? Uh, three days, really. What, uh, what do you think of it? You have to say nice things, I know, <laughs> but really, what do you think of it? You can tell me. Well, we, um, I think the first thing that uh, struck me is that uh, the people are super friendly. I mean, whether you're in a big city like London or out here in Chester, everybody's extremely friendly. I mean, you can walk into a pub or you can be down the street asking for directions. It doesn't matter. Everybody has been extremely wonderful. That's number one. And then, of course, the beauty and the sights, I would say, are number two, which usually is the other way around. But I, I was very impressed with the people. Really, that's nice to hear. It really is. Now, listen, you, there's two of you cameramen, are you? Well, there was two camera. There are two cameramen. Uh, one uh, is uh, is no longer with us. Uh, he is um, uh, filming elsewhere in the world. Uh, so we've hired Richard to uh, film with us now. He's also also brought uh, a steady cam, which is a, a, a piece of equipment that uses for motion picture to really help get those beautiful steady right. still shots. And what does what do you do, Pat? What do I do? I'm the talent and writer. Oh, excuse me, of course, you're a female, <laughs> yes. you had to be. Now, I'm trying to, to get this in my mind's eye. Rich is the cameraman and Mark's the cameraman. Now, do you have to keep the, the other going and, and you keep going back and back and cycling in the same bit while the other talks over the film, so you've got to do the same piece over and over again? Unless he gets it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Which is highly unlikely. Have you had any hairy moments? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it depends on which countries oh, you're talking well, about. Well, do spill the beans. We've I mean, come on. We've bloopers, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You've had a what? <laughs> We've had a lot of bloopers. Yeah. What's a blooper? A bleep like bloop? Well, that's where somebody makes a mistake and, uh, let's say, falls off their bicycle off a cliff or something. Or a rude, rude word. One of them, is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but see, most of the <laughs> rude words we don't have to worry about because <laughs> it, it, this is all going to be a voiceover with music, so it's a documentary-style right. film I see. with a lot of great action. And what about, what about uh, the other European countries? Let's see, Have uh, they been interesting? Yeah. Which, which, is, which has been your more memorable so far? Dick, you want to talk about Greece? Well, Greece was very... You'll have to come closer, Richard. I can't hardly hear you. I'm coming closer. <laughs> Greece was very intense <laughs> because we did not have the cooperation like we did in Switzerland and like we do here in England. Um, the tourist boards in both Switzerland and England have been wonderful to us. But Greece was a little intense, but once it's a beautiful country, and uh, all the countries have been beautiful. But um, the most memorable, I have to say... Um, was Switzerland so far, just because of the beauty of the mountains 
Um, and and so, expensive, of course. Yes, we need to spend more money. <laughs> yes. We haven't yes. spent enough. <laughs> yes, I remember <laughs> going there once. I spent a weekend there. On, uh, it was actually on business, and uh, I, I bought a packet of sweets because that's all I could afford. I think it cost me about £10 for two sweets in a box. <laughs> you got a deal. And I ate them. <laughs> I didn't even give them away when I came back. I ate them. <laughs> I thought, that's it. Now, you're in Chester at the moment, having a wonderful time. Where to next? Snowdonia Mountain Range. Right, OK. And you're going to Wales. Lovely. And uh, then back down to London? Mm-hmm. Briefly down to London. And then when, where to after that? And then back to San Diego. That's our home base. And you're finished then? Well, then we have a little bit more filming to do in uh, about a week worth in Canada and then a bit more in uh, Northern California. And then it comes time for the real work, which is called editing, where you get to put all the pieces together and then add music and narration. <laughs> That'll take you another 12 months. Mm -hmm. Oh, normally it would. <laughs> We're going to have about <laughs> two to three to do it, so we'll see what happens. Well, this has taken you a year to compile. That's correct. How long do you think uh, it would take a normal cyclist? I mean, obviously, they don't have to go to, into the ins and outs of you. If they wanted to do the world trip on a mountain bike, well, how long are you setting out for them to do it in? How well, it depends. I mean, we're riding a lot, but uh, not as much as we would be if we didn't have to worry about videotaping it. Um, how about a decade? Yeah, a deca <laughs> decade would be real nice. <laughs> And without any video. It would take a decade. <laughs> oh, well, I think I'll give it a miss, boy. <laughs> I'll stick to the car or even Shank's pony. Have a wonderful time. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I pity we couldn't arrange the weather to be a little bit nicer for you. Well, we hope you still can. And, uh, you know, yeah, again. Put a call out. <laughs> we will. That's what we'll do. Yeah, well, we could do most things here. And thanks very much, Pat, Mark, and Richard. Safe journey now for the rest of the trip to the right. two, three thank of you. Thank you very much. And thanks thank you, to all the uh, great people that are helping us and continue to help, uh, British Tourist Authority, etc. It would be great, so thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, gang. Bye-bye.